Let's take a look around Canva. This will be just an overview and then we'll get into more details as we go through the videos coming forward. So to get started, this is like the landing page and you're going to see on the top, you got some options including templates, features, and then on the right, you can create a design and then it'll show your recent designs. So this particular account has no designs created. So you'll see that it's blank, but they also have options here. And you'll notice that it shows mostly educator information because you're in your educator account. So you click on those and take a peek. You can also click, uh, actually I just moused over the templates. You can also mouse over the templates and it will give you some options including an educator tab with everything that you could think of for educators. So if you wanna choose one of those, so maybe you're making a presentation, you can click on presentations and then it will open up those options. And then as you can see, you have additional filters on the left hand side. And then you also have all of the options on the center. If you're looking for something specific, you can look in the search box. So maybe you're looking for a specific template like technology. You can type in that word and it'll bring up anything related to that particular word. And to give you an idea, I'm gonna look for science. So it brings up some science options. You'll notice here, it's not just presentations at this point, you're starting to get flyers and um, social media, pages, etc. not pages, but social media, um, JPEGs and things like that. Um, if you're looking for specific things on the left, you can narrow it down. So that's how it works if you're going to search through these options under templates. If you want to create your own design, you can click create a design. It'll ask what kind of design do you want to create. So we stick with our theme of presentation. Let me scroll down. You'll see they have brochures, they had flyers, postcards, book covers, all sorts of goodies. And so if I select presentations, it's going to open up that as an option. And now I'm going to go into the editing piece of Canva and we'll get into more detail of how that looks later on. But this is what you'll see. You'll see the templates on the side. You'll see your elements on the side, which are all your shapes, your images, your videos, etc. You can upload your own information if you want to. And then you have your text box. Once you're all done, it saves automatically for you. You can rename it, uh, whatever you want. And then you can download and they give you different downloading options as well. So this particular one is a default of PNG, which is an image file and it's blank, but that's why I can't click on it here. Let me just add something, there we go. So now I can choose that option and you'll see I have lots of choices from PDF, JPEG, GIFs, videos, etc. So that is an overview of what Canva looks like and what it has to offer. Let's go ahead now and dive into what your options are.